God bless you. No. Not going there. Not going there at all. So when it comes to acupuncture, people have this misconceived idea of who does acupuncture and who gets acupuncture. Usually they fall into the category of new agey, Kool-Aid drinking, granola eating, tree hugging hippie, right? And that's not always the case. Granted, I do have friends and colleagues who are very good that fall into that category, but it's not always the case. There's more to acupuncture than just that. It's been around for thousands of years and people aren't stupid. So if there was a scam, within a couple thousand years, we would have figured it out and called it out. But there is some valid uses for acupuncture and Eastern medicine. Western medicine is starting to validate it and start to actually use some of it. Science is starting to do studies and figure out what's, what is the mechanisms behind why it works so effectively for certain things. Now, I've been honored to be asked to present at this year's Lone Star Medics Field and Tactical Medicine Conference in Dallas, Texas. I'm gonna be teaching two different classes. The first one is going to be about what is acupuncture in Eastern medicine, how it relates to Western medicine and Western science, and how it can benefit people in a survival situation. So the second class I'm gonna be teaching is on a technique called Guasa. We use this technique for a lot of different things, but we're gonna focus on using it for musculoskeletal pain and range of motion issues. So in a survival situation, you're gonna be required to accomplish specific tasks. If you can't accomplish those tasks because you're having a hard time moving, your rate of surviving that situation goes <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of phenomenal information getting thrown around the conference by experts in the field. You've got guys from Risk Taker, Dark Angel Medical, XSA International, BFE Labs, you got Mike Rohan, Tim Keller, Sam Kaufman, Dr. Sherman House, and if you've been on YouTube and looked at SHTF Medicine or Preparedness Medicine, if you're a prepper, you've heard of Patriot Nurse. She's gonna be presenting as well. So I'm very excited. There's gonna be some experts in the field and I am looking forward to being there. You know, this conference is for everybody, from the medical professional all the way to somebody who just knows how to put on a Band-Aid. If you're interested in boosting your medical skills, this is the place to do it, no matter where you're at right now. So once again, Lone Star Medics Field and Tactical Medicine Conference, it's gonna be on March 28th and 29th in Dallas, Texas. I'm gonna leave all the information down below. You guys can click on the links, get there, and also, if you sign up before February 28th, you get $150 off the conference. You know, it's worth every single penny, but to get $150 off on top of that, can't beat it. So hopefully I'll see you there. Take care. Buddha bless you. Amidofu. Oh. <laughs> um. Ah! Scream for me, Long Beach. <laughs> uh, okay, I got it. Who's a good little Jade? Who's a good little plan? Who loves you? That's right, I love you. I love you. Oh, no, no. shh. shh. That's my jam. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, I, sorry. Dude, I, <laughs> Crap.
Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. Kumbaya. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Come on. Hold my, hold my hand. Come on. You, come on. You know you want to hold my hand. Let's sing together. Come on. Together. Guys from XSA International, Dark Angel Medical, Risk Taker, BFE Labs, you got Sam Keller. Sorry, Tim. <laughs> Who wants that Zen Funk, right? Uh. Good God, y'all! Oh. I didn't like it. No, sir. Didn't like it. <laughs>